Yeah. What's going on, family? Welcome to another edition of Black Knight Mustang Lifestyle. Of course, y'all know it starts with coffee. And I always start with good coffee at the house because it's definitely got to be community coffee. And y'all know community concert, uh, community coffee. <laughs> That's a blueprint right there. Community coffee is the sponsor of this. So anyway, let's get into the video. Hey, family, what I wanted to show y'all I'm doing is I had to take this brace off because I can't get the bolts back under here. So you got to take this uh, transmission uh, brace. It's got a bolt here, bolt here, and a bolt there, and a bolt there, which uh, I already took the four bolts out, which look like this. So I think we got to take the bolts out of here. I don't know if y'all can see it's up there. It's kind of dark on there. I can't put no light on here because I need the power for my uh, impact. Or we got to take it loose right here, but we got to drop this down, but we got to put some support under here. So I'm going to get my jack and jack this up. Not on the pan, but maybe somewhere right here to give it support because this is the support bar. So we're going to go ahead and do that, y'all. And uh, hopefully that'll be it. And hopefully this whole piece just comes out. But anyway, we're okay, family. I didn't take the whole bracket off. What I did is slid it back past the holes and that should be enough to get in here and get the rest of these bolts. I don't have to take this off, just bang it back and jacked it up right there. Just get the uh, the uh, dog on, I can't think of the name, the bushing loose enough to slide this back. And so that would probably make it a lot easier than I slide it back, drop it back down, drop it in the hole. So let's go ahead and finish getting these out and we'll get back. So y'all, we got the pan off and look at all this transmission fluid in here. We got some in there, but that is the filter right there. So. No screws holding. I think we just pull that on down out of that plug right there. Just holding it up and bam, there goes the filter. And try to get all this extra transmission fluid out of here. I don't know why I had my glove right there in the way. Let me move the glove so it can get wet. And it looked like it's pretty dirty, y'all. But uh, that's it right there. So hopefully we hoping that's the problem why it's not switching. And hopefully it is. And we're gonna drain this some more, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, you know, my glove about to go in there. But anyway, we're gonna try to go get a filter for this thing. We get back. So y'all, what we gonna do? Pan didn't look too bad, and this is usually where metal shavings go in, and I don't feel no metal shavings in there, and yeah, no metal shavings. So we're gonna clean this up, put the new seal on. And we'll get back with you. Okay, here's a new box with the uh, filter. And also, it came with a seal. We did clean the inside of this up. And we're going to make sure this matches up the seal in here. To, uh, before we take that one off. And then you can see that's the new one right there. And this is a little cheap seal. You can tell that's a little better seal. But uh, I don't, I don't know if I should take that off or not. Uh, don't look like it was leaking on the pan Not that I know of And uh, Might be all right, but let me see if this one works We're we gonna keep that seal on right there because it looks thicker than the other other one works But it looks too thin so we're not even gonna mess with that But we're gonna get under there We're gonna put the new filter on clean up under there and throw that on so it's starting to rain again <laughs> Off and on so we'll get back. So basically I've been getting soaked all day You know, I got this down here and got soaked. But anyway, we finally finished Wanted to show y'all everything and put this light up here. But we got everything buttoned back down. Got that brace right here. Back all bolted down and everything. Um, when we torque these bolts right here, the bolts right there, as y'all can see, you torque them down to 18. And you go across diagonally and then up and down. And then you go back around and make sure they all tighten at 18. But we are finished here. We got to get some uh, transmission fluid. I think we lost about a gallon. We're going to get two gallons to be on the safe side. And we'll see what this thing do. So we'll get back with y'all. Okay, y'all. We out here going to get on the highway. It's kind of dark in here, so y'all can't see me. But we can really see this going to be the moment of truth. If this thing changed over and it was the uh, transmission filter, I'm hoping it was. And needed a new, you know, some fresh transmission fluid in. Roll these windows up so I can hear so far it's changing good but it's always like that i think that last two gears like the third and fourth where i was having problems with so we'll see let me get my 
blink on. See, like it's working. Yep, that did it. It's not shifting back now, so it was the filter the whole time. Yeah, it's changing over and staying in that gear. So probably the filter in a fresh or uh, fresh uh, transmission fluid, and it's not shifting back. It's shifting just as smooth. So that was the problem the whole time. So I figured out what it was, and we found out too. Also, we got uh, we got to get us some better lights in here. So you know, of course, we got to put some HID lights on here, some fall lights, and we found out uh, that we got a hole that's leaking a little bit in the reservoir. Well, it's an old reservoir, probably the reservoir that was in here, uh, probably when the truck was built in 1996. So anyway. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get on back to the house and we'll see y'all in a little bit so as y'all can see family the dually we got it rolling right uh, it's changing gears nice and smooth we got a couple more things to do to it so uh, we're just gonna take our time and keep posting it on the channel doing stuff to it uh, other than that it runs pretty good just need cleaning and some other little odd and then things and I found out that the uh, the we're well, doggone what you call it the for the, uh, I mean, I can't think I'm so tired of messing with this thing all day. Uh, for the antifreeze, the uh, the antifreeze jug got a hole in it. It probably was the one that was in it when the truck was making it look pretty old. So we're gonna order a new one, then we'll put that in. Uh, also, we got some stuff coming for the van that we gotta do, which y'all can't see is out there. My garage is a mess because I've been back and forth. But other than that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you share. And also make sure you go subscribe. And we'll have some more stuff for you. More content. Y'all know what it is. Stay in life, baby. Peace. We out of here. And roll tie roll, baby. For life. Peace.